Hello, good evening, my friends. Welcome to the class number two. So I hope you can hear me well. Espero que me escuchen bien. Wendy, hello, good evening. Mm, Wendy, puedes escucharme? Good evening. Ah, ok, good evening. Hello. Hola, hola, ¿me escucha? Eh, hello. Yes, creo que se está cortando un poco. ¿Tú me escuchas bien? Yes. Eh, sí, yes. Ok, perfect. That's, that's wonderful. Good evening. Uh, hello, good evening, little kid. Como que Carito rejuveneció demasiado. Okay, <laughs> so uh, welcome to everybody. There are some others who are connecting now. So, uh, Kenya, hello. How are you doing? Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you? Good. Okay. So, Very so. Good. Very good. Okay, that, that's perfect. Carito, hello. Do you have a different voice now, right? Yes, teacher. Hello. How are you? Well, I'm terrific. <laughs> uh, today was a very uh, busy day. It was kind of difficult, but well, we are about to finish, okay? So that's it. We have also Gabriel. Hello, Gabriel. Mm, Gabriel? Hello, hello teacher. Hello, how was your day? ¿Cómo estuvo tu día? Uh, I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay. Thanks. Fine. Well, that's, that's interesting. Good. Here we have also 
Mardo, hello there. Okay, maybe Mardo is connecting uh, his headphones. Good night, teacher. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Hello, Claudia. Okay, Mardo, here we have also Evelyn. Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, hello. good evening. Hello, nice to see you all. Okay, my friends, we are, <clears throat> the rest of students are going to connect in a couple of uh, seconds, but now here we have the class number two. It means that we have 18 classes left. Then solo nos quedan 18 clases. Ah, pasar rápido. How to use ing forms after prepositions? Ing forms are well, it is like a suffix. Es un sufijo that we apply to verbs. Aplicamos a los verbos, verdad? Ing, ing. And in this case, we're going to work with prepositions as well. Right, but before we go to the uh, specific topic, we have mission or vision of your workplace. Okay, so maybe you can share about one. Okay, you can select one, either mission or vision. Okay, so for this, maybe we can start with Kenya. Can you share with us about the mission or the vision of your workplace? Okay, teacher. Okay. Permitim. <laughs> okay. Sometimes it happens. Cualquiera de los dos, ya sea misión o misión. Yes, whatever you want. Mission or vision. Okay. Okay, we're going to wait a little bit. What about Luis? Hello, Luis. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Okay, I hope you are okay. Um, can you tell us about the mission or the vision of your workplace, please? Uh, the mission, teacher. Yes. Mission is uh, to be those leading solid innovating, responsible, um, community company in transportation and oh. assembly lifting um, logistics for the life, have um, oversight cargo transportation industry in the El Salvador and Central American markets. Wow, that's, that's a very concrete form to say things, okay? Nice to be. That's the first topic, right? The, the first verb. Excellent. Very nice. It's very interesting. Now maybe Kenya, ready? Okay, I'll see teacher. Okay, then Gabriel. Okay, go. Okay, teacher. Vision. We will be an important part at the table of age of the Central American homes. We will accompany their lives with products of high quality uh, flavor. What they we will be rec palabra, recognize 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 for our orientation torrents okay continuous and comprehensive con no sé si así se pronuncia Comprehensive improvement as well as for our committee, commit, commit main to those who prefer us. Okay, thank you. That's kind of long, very long vision. Okay, thank you, Kenya. Okay, and here have also Gabriel, and we go with Perito. Okay, teacher. My Area is a story, a story and explore. So my mission is to general security, security and confidence in customer that the treatment are totally such and of quality, exactly what they quite quite. And um, my vision 
is to systemize, systemize her, her the process from the packing our and treatment preparation. Okay. Uh, no new, new personnel will be hired. The personnel we, we are right, how will be trained. Okay, thank you. Thank you, very nice. And Carito, are you ready? Tell me, teacher. Hmm? The mission is the same that Kenya says. Okay. You have the mission. Uh, that's the mission. No, that's the vision, right? Kenya, ¿qué dijo? La visión, dijo. La mis right? No, la misión. La misión, dijiste, Kenya. Okay. Y la visión, dije. Mm -hmm. La visión. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Mission. Industrial like the San Jose is a company generally concerned with offering nutrition and hygienical made products made from milk, in which all, all pardon, in which all import and the highest quality and flavor standards are packaged. Committed to the best manufacturing practice, cleaner production and continuous improvement, we favor play people's health and environmental sustainability. What make us a great Salvadorian company with one of the most professional and motivated workforces in the country. Okay, very, it's kind of extended, but concrete as well. Thank you, Carita, very well pronounced. Okay. Okay, for the rest, I need you to read it. Necesito que lo practiquen un poco, ¿verdad? Porque sé que van a encontrar, you're going to find different vocabulary and some of the words are kind of new or complicated. Por eso se los dejé tempranito para que ya viniesen listos, ¿verdad? Pero le voy a dar un par de minutos también para que concretemos algunas de las palabras que tenemos. Mientras tanto, tenemos ways to say make and do. En este caso es la diferencia, okay? This is kind of difference, make and do. Both of these words means the same. Significan lo mismo. Make and do, it, they mean like hacer. Significa hacer. Make es hacer. Do es hacer. But there is a difference because we use these uh, words for different phrases or situations. For example, we can say make a phone call. I have to make a phone call. Okay, for example, we can say, um, for, for instance, um, it is a difficult, well, it is difficult to make a decision. Imagine if you are thinking about continuing in, in your job or leaving your job, okay? So that's it, a, a mistake, make a mistake. Uh, sometimes our bosses say, uh, please don't make mistakes, be sure, no cometan errores, verdad? Tomar decisiones, sé que make es hacer, se escucha diferente, se escucha raro hacer decisión, but that's, that's the phrase. Nosotros decimos tomar decisiones, but in English we say make decision, make a promise, hacer una promesa, make a promise. Nowadays it is, not, it is common that people make promise, but they don't, well, they don't do it as, uh, at the end. Al final, pues, no, no, no lo cumplen, right? And make dinner. In the case, you have to prepare. You have to make lunch, uh, make breakfast, make dinner. That is something that you have to prepare by using your own hands, okay? And on the contrary, we have do. Do the dishes. It means, uh, well, it is when you go to the, uh, you, you go to, 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 to wash the dishes or the cups, the glasses. Okay, the folks, the spoons, cuando van a lavar todos los, los, los trastes. Okay, you say, do the dishes. You have to do the dishes. And that is something that it is very common to, uh, for the kids when they are helping in the housework. Do the laundry, ¿verdad? Um, digamos, lavar. O oh, laundry es lavandería, pero aquí sería como lavar los platos. Do the dishes. Eh, aunque do es hacer, pero se utiliza para, esas fra pa para estas frases idiomáticas. Do the laundry. Okay. Eh, lavar, um, do a favor, hacer un favor. No decimos make a favor. We, you can say, please, could you do me a favor? 
or I need, I need you to do me a favor. Necesito que me hagas un favor. Do me a favor. Do your best. Haz eh, lo mejor que puedas. Do your best. It's something that, well, it's a phrase that it is common before you have to do a test or before you go to an interview, una entrevista, hacer un examen or something like that. You say that phrase, do the best. And do nothing es hacer nada. En español se traduce a no hacer nada, pero no hacer nada es que están haciendo algo, pero así es nuestro español, ¿ok? But do nothing. Do nothing es hacer nada, ¿ok? Estar relaxed como una hush potato, sin nada que hacer en nuestras vidas, ¿ok? Make and do. I need you to select one of these and pronounce it. We're going to start in this case with um, Carlos and then Wilfredo. Hello, Carlos. You start. Select one. Hello, teacher. Hello there. I put, I put call. Okay, make a phone call. Recuerden que estamos con estos, okay? Yes, tenemos okay. acá, ajá, o acá podemos, y aquí es acá, like this. Okay, make a phone call. Good. And now let's listen to Mardo, and then we go with Oscar. Do, do dishes. Do the dishes. Do the dishes. Good, Mardo. Okay, Wilfredo, are you ready? So, Thank you, Mardo. The do the laundry. Okay, do the laundry. Okay. Recuerden siempre tener el micrófono silenciado, Edwin. Please, please. Es bien importante, especialmente cuando hay niños, ¿verdad? Porque están jugando, okay. So, do the laundry, good. Now let's listen to Evelyn, Evelyn and then Kenya. Select one. Make a mistake. Okay, let's sing nice. Kenya and Carito. Make dinner. Good, Carito, Gabriel. Make a promise. 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 Perfect. Promise. Okay, Gabriel, Luis. Make a uh, decision. Make decision. a decision. Nice. Make a decision. Good. Luis Edwin. Make a dinner. Good. Edwin Wendy. Edwin Wendy. Uh, make a phone call. Nice. Wendy, Oscar. Do nothing. Okay. Do nothing. Nice. Todos queremos estar así. Yes, Oscar and Claudia. A mistake. Perfect. Claudia and uh, Steffi. Uh, do your best. Do the best. Okay. And here we have who else? Can se me quedaba? Steffi. Make a decision. Make a decision. Okay, that's nice. Excellent. Okay, alguien, alguien se acuerda, somebody remembers that, somebody remember one of the phrases that I told you yesterday, una de las frases que les enseñé ayer, para decir, easy ways peasy? to say easy, okay, easy peasy, that's one of my favorites, any other? A piece of cake. Anyway, cake. Uh-huh. Oscar, yes. Anyone can do it. Anyone can do it. Good. Thank you. Thank what you. about another? Easy peasy, a piece of cake. Anyone can do it. También, teacher, sería it's a work in the park. Ah, it's a walk in the park. Mm -hmm. I remember that. It's Perfect. A it's, it's a sink. It, it's, I see, uh, one, two, three. What's a one, two, three? Nice, it, well. It, it's a piece uh, of cake. It's a piece of cake. Cuando decimos que está súper fácil, es como un pedazo de pastel. I don't know what, what is the reason saying that, but it's a piece of cake. It's similar to, well, on the contrary in Salvador, when we say, está yuca. Yuca is what? Why is yuca? Ajá, entonces, cuando decimos así, entonces es una frase idiomática. ¿no? Ok. Uh, we continue with this. And before we go to this, I need you to check. I need you to check the attendance list. So please say hi or hello. If you listen to your name, you can say I'm here, present, or whatever. 
Eh, Alfredo Saldaña. No. Carlos Alfonso Ramírez. No. Carlos Abrego. Present, nice, thank you. Carlos Pinto. No. Carito. I'm here, teacher. Are there. Edwin. Present, teacher. Okay, thank you, Elisa. No, Elisa. Okay, Steffi. Present. Nice. Evelyn Ventura. Here. You are there. Gabriel Beltrán. Hello, teacher. There. Gabriel Ernesto Durán. Yvette Lisette Figueroa. Present, teacher. Okay, nice. Um, Jacqueline Cristina. No, Jacqueline. Kenya. Hello, teacher. Hello, Luis. Hi, teacher. Seth Mardo. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Marvin Adonai. No, Marvin. Okay, Mayra Noemi. No. Oscar. Hello, teacher. Hello, Rosa Lin Lina. No. Okay, Wilfredo. Present teacher. Nice. Claudia Jamilet. Yes, right. Present teacher. And Wendy. Present teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Perfect. Okay. Um, before we go to this, we have Yvette Figueroa. Hello, Yvette. Welcome to the to this course. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Okay. Um, how are you? Good, excellent, perfect, fine, excellent, terrific. Uh, la verdad no le entiendo mucho, estoy tratando de hacer la no lucha. No problem, no problem, oh, nadie, sí. nadie de acá entendemos la vida, no te preocupes, todos estamos tratando de averiguar sí. nuestro, nuestro destino acá, ok, no problem. We're going, okay. to, we're going to learn step by step, paso a paso, ok. Ok, ok, sí, ok, thank you. Perfect. Okay, um, we go here to this. Again, I'm going to present this, ¿verdad? Si podemos utilizar nuestra memoria de corto plazo, that will be perfect, okay? Sin trampas. Okay. Okay, okay I'm going to present this. Le voy a presentar esta imagen. Try to remember in six seconds, okay? Confío en ustedes. Medio, pero sí confío. Ok, go. Traten de memorizar algunas palabras que vean acá. In the conversation. Oh, carito. Mm, ok. De, de último te voy a preguntar, carito. Ok, let's listen to Steffi. Innovation. Innovation. Nice. Ok. And Claudia? Uh, do you get it? No, okay. Llamar si no me uh, está. Recibe, si no me o sea, recibe. I ah, receive, receive. Ajá, uh -huh, no. receive. Do you alguna, receive? Okay, algunos de ustedes inventan a veces palabras. Me gusta, but <laughs> medio les creo. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Wilfredo and Mardo. Do you receive? Y copiando, mira, Wilfredo. Ok, this you receive. Mardo and Oscar. New leaders. Wow, new leaders. Oscar and Wendy. I'm sorry. Mil. Mil. Ok, Min. Min. Thank you. Uh, Wendy and um, Carito. Uh, we sold. I'm sorry, could you repeat, please? We sold. Ah, we should. We sold. Okay, uh -huh. nice. Voy a ver si no me mentí, mujer. Creo que me está diciendo la verdad. I guess so. Carito, la mujer que no copia. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Teacher, estaba anotando las palabras que me acordaba. Ok. O solo, es, o solo es ver una. La, toda la cantidad de palabras que te puedas memorizar. Pero okay, adelante, respect. lee. No te voy a quitar la inspiración. Respect, coin and consumer. 
Ya me achantó oh. usted. Ok. <laughs> well, thank you. Very nice. Me gusta cómo están pronunciando. You're pronouncing really good. Very nice. ¿A cuáles eran los nombres de esta conversación? Mario. Mario. Y Teresa. Mario. Y es Mario Moreno. And? Teresa. Teresa. Teresita. Ok. Yes, that's it. Let's see. Mm, ok. Aquí está la famosa receive. Aquí está la famosa palabra que como tres me la estaban repitiendo. Yep. And let's see. Did you receive? Receive. Ok. Did you receive a newsletter about the core values of the company? I did. It's a great idea to remember why we are different from other companies. What do you mean? When we say what do you mean, it uh, means ¿Qué quiere decir? ¿O qué significa? Mean, significa, o querer decir. Eso es. What do you mean? ¿Qué quieres decir? ¿O qué significa eso? I mean, yo quiero decir, I mean, we know innovation, efficiency, efficiency. Siempre que vean la C y la I, es sh, así, con e s h sh, efficiency. And respect. Should, ah, aquí está, mira, Wendy, no me mentiste, ya vi, cierto. Should be part of our, no, our, our customer service, customer service. I see your point. Es como que mm, entiendo lo que tú dices. I see your point, veo tu punto. We know about the values of the company, but maybe we don't apply them. Exactly. We should live the values that make us different from other companies. Recuerden, should, okay? A newsletter. Okay, receive, newsletter, mean, mean, efficiency, should, and we have also our values apply. Yes, um, Mardo. Teacher, ¿qué significa apply? Apply, aplicar. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For example, Mardo, imagine you want to work in another uh, job. ¿Quieres aplicar para tu trabajo? Uh, te puedes decir, Carito, ok, Mardo, go ahead, apply for that job. Please do it. ¿Verdad? Entonces, aplicar, eh, puedes llevar a cabo, ok, llevar a cabo algo to do something or to apply for, to get something. ¿Verdad? Tratar de conseguir algo. Aplicar. Okay. That's Thank nice. you. You're welcome. Receive, recibir. Newsletter es como un boletín. Similar a un memorando. Right? Okay. Newsletter. Eh, the core values son como los valores eh, primordiales, lo, lo, lo fundamentales de una empresa. Por eso dice, eh, did you receive the newsletter? ¿Recibiste el memo sobre los valores propios de la empresa, de la compañía? Eh, sí, eh, es una gran idea recordar por qué nosotros somos diferentes a otras compañías. ¿A qué te refieres? ¿Qué quieres decir? Um, quiero decir que we know, sabemos de innovación, eficiencia y respeto. Y el respeto debería ser parte de nuestro eh, servicio al cliente. Ya veo tu punto. We know about the values. Sabemos acerca de los valores de la compañía, pero quizás esa palabra, si no la saben, anótenla. Maybe. Maybe. Es una palabra compuesta. May, be, may, quizás, o puede, puede ser, puede ser, pero esto se traduce a un quizás. Ok, quizás, quizás, quizás. Uh, pero, fíjense, pero quizás nosotros no los aplicamos. And that is something so common in, in our country that we say in the companies. We are not a company, we are a family. They say that, okay? Um, put on a shirt, ponte la camiseta. Uh, somos una familia and all those things. But sometimes we have like different situations in every company and they are like very difficult and stressful and tense. ¿Verdad? Tenemos como que aparentemente una compañía, todo bien, pero por dentro, stress, tenso, kind of difficult. Exactly, Liz. We should live the values. 
exactamente, deberíamos de vivir los valores que nos hacen diferentes de otras compañías. Ok. Another thing. Luis, cuando tenemos la L y la Y después de un adjetivo, ¿qué significa? Y L y la Y. Ajá. ¿Te acuerdas? Ay, si poncho, teacher, no, no me acuerdo. Busca en tu corazón, busca en tu corazón. Ok. Carlos, <ríe> come on, what about you? Significa mente. Perfect. Mente, pero no de cerebro, ¿verdad? Sino no, no, que, no. Ajá, sino que es un sufijo. Por ejemplo, si decimos uh, happily, aquí cambiaría, ¿verdad? La I. Felizmente, felizmente. Exact, es exacto, es un adjetivo. Exactly, exactamente. And any other could it be, for example, silent, silencio. Uh, sil silently uh, silenciosamente ok, cuando vean la L y la Y en, a la par de un adjetivo quiere decir mente, es un sufijo ok, politely exactly uh, currently, actually y un montón mm, other, noisily a lot of adjectives, casi la mayoría de adjetivos de, de que que uh, Adjetivos que especifiquen una acción. So that's it. Okay, good. And now we're going to practice this. Remember, receive, receive. Newsletter, newsletter. Um, mean efficiency. No me digan efficiency, teacher. Efficiency, efficiency. Should, no should. En este caso. Se pronuncia, la L no se pronuncia, es una letra silenciosa. Should, sencillo. Should, should, should. Ok. And here we have our values, maybe, and apply. Ok, my friends. Tell me if we have another word that maybe it is kind of difficult. Tenemos otra palabra que posiblemente sea complicada. Do we have? I guess not, right? Mm -hmm. No problem. Okay, we're going to practice this in three minutes, maybe. Remember, um, if Claudia is with Carito, for example, the, the first practice, Claudia is Mario, Carito is Teresa. And the second practice, uh, uh, Carito is, is Mario and Claudia Teresa. Intercambien los roles, okay? To practice this. And after we're going to complete another um, another exercise. Carito, please, could you help me with the screenshot? Carito is efficient. No, efficiency is efficient. 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 Okay. Efficient. Efficiency is efficiency. Okay. Perfect, Carito. Nice. Okay, so let me see. Les sugiero que denle una revisada ahorita a la, a la conversation, practiquenlo un poquito. Si tienen los valores, de los que no han pasado, denle una leidita en estos segundos que les doy así, para que sea más fluida la participación. Ok, my friends, give, give me like 30 seconds. Denme 30 segundos mientras, mientras preparo las, los equipos, las parejas. Ok. Okay, please accept the request. Acepten la solicitud.
Hello. Hola, Steffi. Hola, Ivette. Hello. Ok, Steffi, ¿vas viajando en ahorita? Sí. Ya fue en el... Ok. Se te hace difícil ahorita, ¿verdad, Steffi? Sí, un poquito. Ok, ok. Yo voy a practicar con Ivette, ok? No problem. Ok. Ok, uh, Yvette, hello. Uh, vamos a practicar un poco esta conversación, ok? Si te cuesta, okay. no te preocupes. Um, relax. Ok. Bien, comienzo yo. Voy a ser Mario, ok. Did you receive a newsletter about the core values of the company? I did. It's a great idea to remember why we are different from other companies. What do you mean? I mean, we now innova, innovation, innovation, eh, efficient, efficiency, and efficiency and rest respect should be part of our customer service. I see your point. We know about the values of the company, but maybe. We don't apply them. Exactly. Um, we should leave the values that make us different from other companies. Okay. Nice, good. Tenés buena lectura, Ivette. En serio. <laughs> bueno, gracias. Sí, te cuesta un poquito hablarlo. O sea, cuando te hacen preguntas, te pones nervioso. Sí, yo más creo que es eso. Ok. Pero pienso que a medida vaya participando, porque lo que ha sucedido es que en los otros módulos casi no participaba. Ajá. Pero usted, no? usted, usted pregúnteme. Vaya, ok. Ok, no problem. Ok. Nice. Te veo en un momento, ok. Ok. Perfecto. Ah, una cosa más, Ivette. Um, sí. En este caso, cuando estemos, no te preocupes por equivocarte. Dale, ¿Ah? aventate. Si no, pregúntale a Steffi, ¿verdad, Steffi? Sí, pues si no, no vamos a aprender. Así y nadie aquí sí, se sí. ríe, nadie se burla. Igual, la pasamos bien. Te vas a dar cuenta que ese grupo es bien, 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 bien interesante. Ok, ok, ok. okay. Perfect. Sí. Nice. Gracias. Eh, una última cosa, Ivette. ¿Estás en el grupo de WhatsApp? Eh, no, fíjese que no me ha caído ningún, ningún aviso. Um, yo creo que sí, donde te, te enviaron el, toda la información, sí. el detalle del curso, ahí está el link para, para ingresar al grupo de WhatsApp. Ah, fíjese que no, no tengo aquí a una chica. Oh, quiero ver este. El sábado, veamos cómo enviar tu usuario, enlace. Eh, mm, me enviaron el enlace para, para conectarme y el, y el meeting y la contraseña. Pero, ajá, ahí abajo. Ah, ok, sí, sí, ya lo encontré, ya lo encontré. Ahorita voy a, voy a, a, a unirme al grupo. Sí, lo que pasa, Ivette, es que yo siempre en la mañana envío las, unas, unas preguntas para que le den su opinión aquí durante la clase. Entonces, les doy tiempo para que preparen su respuesta y Ajá. la tengan a clase. Por eso es importante sí, el grupo sí. de WhatsApp, ¿ok? Sí, ok, sí, estaba en la luna. Hoy que comenzó, okay. sí, lo siento. Excelente, good. Ok, perfecto. Bye, bye.
Ajá, Wendy. Nos ponemos serios, güey. Ok. No, si me fijo. Ahí te vas a dar cuenta que me fijo en muchas cosas, Wendy. But that's good. I like the positive attitude. Me gusta la actitud positiva, ¿verdad, Kenia? ¿Verdad, Kenia? Nos gusta bastante la actitud positive, ¿ok? Kenia, who was your classmate? ¿Quién fue tu compañero, Kenia? Oscar. Oscar, ok. Can we have, uh, like, your conversation, please, Kenia? Ok, comienza. Do you receive new values of the company? Oscar? I, I, this is a great idea to remember why we are different from other companies. What do you mean? Uh, I mean, the, we know innovation, efficiency, um, respect should be part of our customer service. I see your point we knew about the values of the company, but maybe we don't apply them. Uh, exactly. We should leave the values that mean use difference from other companies. Okay. Perfect, very nice, very well job. I like your pronunciation. So le voy a explicar algo, okay, thank you. Uh, remember, remember. Como una canción de Michael Jackson que se llama Remember the Time. Okay, muy buena canción, remember. And here we have no, no, okay, no. Por ejemplo, I don't know, no. Si le quitamos la K sería now, de ahora, pero con K es no. ¿Cómo decir no? ¿Cómo decir? Do you want to eat pacayas? No, ok. Do you want to eat, what else? Do you want to eat garrobo en, en el waste? No. Ok, so you can say no. En la pronunciación es igual, pero el significado es diferente. Apply. Todo, todo, uh, bueno. Normalmente cuando lleva una otra consonante, antes de yes, eh, se, se dice así como que apply, apply con I. Ok. Very good job, my friends. Now, here we have these uh, two questions. Number one, let's uh, listen to... Okay, um, what about if we listen to Wendy? Can you read question number one, please? Okay. What is the strategy Don Teresa and Mario's company used to promote, promote its core values? Values. Mm -hmm. ¿Cuál values. estrategia utiliza? Ajá, no estamos hablando de Teresa y Mario, estamos hablando de la... Company. Company, companies. Teresa and Marios, ¿verdad? Que de ellos. Bueno, no de ellos, uh -huh. pero, but they work in there. What is strategy? What do you think? ¿Qué estrategia piensas que la compañía utiliza, Wendy? The company, yes, it uses one strategy. What do you consider it is? Um, innovation. Mm, okay, good. Here we have innovation, efficiency, efficiency and respect. And respect. Okay, yes, but we have a strategy. Y la strategy I es the uh, newsletter, newsletter, el boletín. Newsletter. Mm -hmm. ah, okay. O sea que ellos, they don't have okay. workshops in which they talk about the values. No tienen como talleres, eh, no tienen convivencias, convivios. They, they okay. send newsletter. Y le dicen, vaya, el, el memorando, vaya, aquí están los valores, aplíquenlos. Well, that strategy is kind of weird, un poquito extraña, right? Pero no es tan diferente a la de Salvador, right? So, okay. thank you. Number two, what about uh, Carito? Are Mario and Teresa positively, positively? Carito? Yes. Could you read it, please? Are Mary and Teresa positively impacted by the company's value? How? I How? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Um, Aha. Are so, Mary and Teresa positively? ¿Qué es positively? Ya estu estuvimos viendo eso, lo de la L y la Y. Positiva. Positivamente impactados. 
Uh -huh. O sea que están, ¿le, le, ¿les pareció positivo eso? Yes. Ok. How? ¿De qué manera les pareció positivo? Vamos a ver acá. Uh -huh. eh, Teresa, it's a great idea. It's a great idea. To remember. Uh, because the, the, the company remember why uh, they are a different they are different for the other companies. Yes, like they are different. And then Mario said, but maybe, mm, yes, but, como que dice sí, pero no. Mm -hmm. But we know about values, but we don't apply like. That's, that's the point, Carito. And they are aware, ellos están conscientes cuando dicen esta palabra. I am aware. Ah, soy consciente. I am aware. They are aware. Ellos están conscientes. They are aware that they have to, they have values and they have to apply them. But uh, to like, for them to, to be like different from other companies. Thank you, Carito. Very nice. Okay, so here we have this. Add two of your company's values to the box. Okay. And let's see here. I will need Claudia's pronunciation. Okay, Claudia, let's pronounce this. I will help you, okay? Yes. yes. Uh, efficient. Efficiency. Efficiency, invo innovation. Yes. Risk. Uh, respect. Good. Punctual. Punctual. Quality. Uh, uh, Serve to others. Integrity, integrity, loyalty, loyalty, responsibility. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Very well, very well. Thank you. Loyalty is lealtad, okay? Lealtad, algo que todos los hombres conocemos, right? And también las mujeres. Here we have responsibility, responsibilidad. We have Kenya, tranquila, relax, come on. Please calm down. Hold your hoses. Okay. Creo que le doy la cabecita, Kenia. Integrity, integridad. Lo que los hombres tenemos mucho. Okay. So here we have like different uh, values that, si sí, aquí están describiendo un hombre definitivamente. Well, punctuality, maybe not. And tell us, well, tell us what do you consider, Carito, va a ser la primera. What do you consider it is like the value that represents your company. ¿Cuál de esos creen que podría representar su compañía? Or if you have some other values, you can mention them. Okay, no problem. You can say some other values. Okay. So, Carito, do you think that here we have a value that represents one of these yes, characteristics? Yes. Come on. <laughs> Just when I am going to say that innovation. Oh, I wow. I like to, to innovate oh. about different things, uh, environmental quality. Okay, that's perfect. Yes. Always changing, yes. siempre cambiando. You, is your boss a man or a woman? Men. Ah, that's why. Can you see? Can you see? Okay, that's <laughs> nice. Thank you. Thank you, Carito. Next. Okay. Here we have also um, Kenya and Gabriel. Tranquila, Carito. Innovation. Innovation. Mm. Innovation. Perfect. Integrity. Ah, integrity. Thank you. Uh, Gabriel, and we have Yvette. Okay, Gabriel. Okay. Efficiency. 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 Innovation. Okay. Sounds really good. Uh, Yvette. Uh, un valor que, que representa tu compañía from the ones that you have here. Okay. Um, integrity. Okay, thank you. That's a good one. Uh, no. we, uh, Wilfredo and Carlos. Punctuality. Um, Punctuality. Esa. No te rías, yes. Wilfredo. No te creo. Okay, nice. Yeah. Okay. Carlos and Oscar. Responsibility. 
responsibility. Okay, good, thank you. Okay, and Oscar and Luis. Uh, innovation and efficiency. And efficiency, good. Efficiency. Perfect. Okay, Luis and Evelyn. Uh, punctuality. Punctuality, are you punctual? Yes, right, Luis? Yes, you are always punctual. Yes. yes. Okay, that's perfect, that's good, nice, nice. And uh, Evelyn, then we have Pinto. Res responsibility. Okay, responsibility, always nice. Uh, Pinto, and then we go with Edwin. I see two values to represent my company. It's perfect. Service to others and efficiency. Oh, wow, that sounds really good. Service to others. Um, thank you. Edwin and Mardo. Hello, teacher. Hello, can you say one of these uh, values that represent your company? Um, efficiency. Efficiency, good, efficiency. Thank you, Mardo. No sé si ya pasó. Wendy. No, service to others. Service to others, perfect. And Wendy? Innovation and integrity. Thank you. Siento que todos ustedes me han estado describiendo. Thank you to all of you. So here we have, remember, efficiency. Efficiency. Okay, esta es la palabra que nos está costando un poquito. Innovation, respect, no respect, como remember, respect. Punctuality, como punch. Punch es un golpe, ok. Punch, entonces como punctuality. Service to others, integrity, loyalty, responsibility. Perfect. That's nice. Ok, we know that in our companies we have like good values and we have some other things that we have to improve. También tenemos que mejorar muchas cosas. Something that happens. Complete the sentences below. Below es abajo with one of the values from the box. Compare uh, your answers with a partner. Okay, we have this. And uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have, uh, well, eight values. And we have to complete it here. Okay, and let's listen to Yvette. Can you help me reading number one? Puedes leer la número uno, please? For example. For example, I apply. Paper. Apply. apply punctuality when I get to me job on time. Okay, yes, we apply this when, when I get to my job on time. Thank you. Okay. Do we have okay. volunteers for this? Tenemos voluntarios para to this activity. We have two, three, four, five, and six. Here we have efficient, good Wendy, nice. Efficiency, innovation, Respect, punctuality, service to others, integrity, loyalty, responsibility. What number? Okay, Wendy and then Mardo. Okay. When, when I welcome custom, customer to the store, I show... I show what? Cuando le doy la bienvenida a los clientes, mm -hmm. I show... Respect. Okay, you can show respect. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm. And also service to others. I want to say that those can vary, but yes, you, you okay. show respect as well. Thank you. Okay, Mardo and then Pinto. Mardo, are you there? Okay, we go now with Pinto, please. Select one. It can be three, four, five, or six. Number six. Okay. Now you offered help to a customer. I demonstrated service to other. Yes, yeah, service to others. And that is something that uh, maybe it is common in your company, right? Service to others. Yes. Perfect. Service to others. Thank you. Okay, we have three, four, and five. Carlos. Okay, Carlos. What number? Four, teacher. Four. I show. Okay. I show responsibility when I finish my duties of time. 
duties on time. Perfect, okay? I show responsibility when I finish, cuando termino mis deberes, right? When I, I finish the things that I had to do, okay? That's wonderful. Three and five. Okay, okay, volunteers for this. If we don't have volunteers, I will select, voy a seleccionar algunos rostros angelicales que tenemos acá. Y el primero que voy a, ajá, okay. The first one is Gabriel. Tiene un rostro bien inocente. Okay, Gabriel, three or four, come on. Creo que estás hablando con tu conciencia, Gabriel. Because I can't hear anything. Activate the microphone. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Uh, four. Okay. I. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? If I suggest. If, if I, I suggest. I suggest. Uh, a creative. Ay. La, las palabras, ¿cuál eran? Ya no me acuerdo. Efficiency. Ay, Gabriel está viendo el cuatro y usted el cinco. Uh, service to other. Service to others. Ok. When to I other. suggest, cuando sí, yo sugiero finish. una solución uh -huh. creativa uh -huh, a mi equipo, to my team, I apply una solución creativa que podría ser. Uh, integrity mm, almost, almost vamos a ver oh. a Carito lo que pasa es que Gabriel está leyendo la cuarta y usted la quinta no okay. sí. no no four are you sure ok, Gabriel, four or five uh. Five. Okay, okay, vamos de nuevo. Mira, Carito, relax. If I if suggest I a creative solution to, to my team. To my team. Yes. Ajá. Entonces, para service esto. Service to others. Puede ser service to others, pero como es creativa, sería innovation. innovation. Yes, innovation. Okay. Algo nuevo, algo que está fresco. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Gabriel. And the last one okay. is, okay, is going to be. Carito, vaya. Number three. Otro rostro angelical. Come on. El más angelical. Uh, yes, sí. Let me see. Responsibility. Y se póngame la otra. Responsibility. No. Responsibility is to accept my, your mistake and their consequence. And their consequence. Or we can use integrity mm. as well. Mm -hmm. Responsibility integrity. or integrity. Okay. okay. Uh -huh. okay. okay. Nice. Thank you. Mission and vision. Okay. I guess you are more than ready with your mission or vision. Ya sé que ya están super listos para esto. Okay. So we're going to listen. Luis, uh, no, Luis ya pasó. Sería en este caso Evelyn and then Edwin. Okay, Evelyn, what about, what do you select? What do you prefer, mission or vision? Mission. Okay, please. Okay. Our mission is to create long-term value. We strive to move customer away from the traditional MRO tra transactional rela relationship to a longer term partnership approach, approach in which we provide a trusted cost effective uh, Only that. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Thank you. Very nice. So create, right? Thank you. Very nice. We go now with who? Edwin and then Carlos. Please, Edwin, you go. Eh, aún no soy preparado, 
Aha. Hmm. Okay, do you need time? Okay, I guess so. Uh, Carlos, are you ready? Hey, teacher. Please. Okay. Mission to be at the company press and the vision is to grow more and more worldwide. Mm, interesting, very short and concrete. Nice. And what about if we listen to Mardo and Oscar? Mardo? Okay, Oscar? Okay, teacher. Please, Mardo. Mission. Industrial Lacte San Jose is a company genuinely concerned with offering offering nutrition nutritious and hygienically hygienically made products made from milk in oh. which our effort and the uh, highest quality and flavor standards are packaged committed to the best manufacturing practice Cleaner production in continuous improvement. We, we favor people's health and environmental sustain, sustainability. What makes makes us a great Salvadoran company with one of the most professional and motivated workforce in the country. Okay, interesting, thank you. And what if we listen to Oscar or, or Wilfredo? Okay. Uh, the, the two mission and vision. Okay. The, the mission in the world as a company is they continue to grow in the improves and they have a um, 110 quality standard with the same vision to bring new clients to our company and to give job opportunity the new employer um, give him our outstanding employer the opportunity to grow so uh, okay. Supervise, secretary, assistant, just established for everyone and the general, uh, they one of the best companies, national and the and in Central America, is our mission and vision. Okay. Thank you. Very nice. Wilfredo? Uh, what price mission? Okay. Meet customer needs in best way to facilitate their work by providing IDs and equipment rental. Okay, thank you. Um, Claudia, ready? Claudia and Wendy, if you are yes, ready. Uh, my vision in the world is is to provide this cleaning service. Mm, provide. Uh, provide mm -hmm. clean service. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, thank you. No. That's okay, concrete and short, good. And what about Wendy? Okay, uh, vision of Pansinae to be a model bakery company recognized recognize in the international food world will sustain, sustain sustainable, sustainable growth. Uh, sustainable okay. growth. Growth, good, very nice. Only, okay. Only that. Thank you, very nice, my friend. Thank you for preparing your mission or vision, okay? Después le puede dar el feedback, okay. Listening, I need you. To, I need you to be ready with your pen or pencil. You're going to write, and in this audio, you're going to listen a very clear voice. Va a escuchar una voz bien clara que a mi forma de ver. 
es una pronunciación, es, es un acento que a mí me gusta bastante. Es una teacher que pues pronuncia bastante bien eh, lo de los listening. Así que pues vamos a tenerlos un momento. And try, try to write as many words as you can. Traten de escribir las palabras que ustedes puedan, ¿ok? Let's listen. I'm sorry. Company values, also called corporate values or core values, are the set of guiding principles and fundamental beliefs that help a group of people function together as a team and work toward a common business goal. These values are often related to business relationships, customer relationships, and company growth. Some examples are integrity, passion, fun, honesty, leadership, teamwork, innovation, quality, commitment, and some others. Okay, let's listen again. Company values, also called corporate values or core values, are the set of guiding principles and fundamental beliefs that help a group of people function together as a team and work toward a common business goal. These values are often related to business relationships, customer relationships, and company growth. Some examples are integrity, passion, fun, honesty, leadership, teamwork, innovation, quality, commitment, and some others. Okay. I guess this audio was really uh, or very clear. So I need you to mention, okay, some words that you wrote okay and we're going to start in this case with Yvette. Yvette did you write some words? Captaste algunas palabras? Uh, yes. Okay. Um, Two or three words. Okay. Company, values, people, beef, business, customer, integrity. Okay. Investing. That's well. nice. Yes, a lot of words. Very nice. Good. Thank you. Okay. And um, what about Carlos? And then we go with um, Wilfredo. Aha, uh -huh, Carlos, what words did you identify? Company values, pricing poll, people, for example, innovating, fund, is so much. Okay, thank you. Wilfredo, and then we go with Gabriel. Customer. Integrity, innovation, company, people, uh, honesty, equality. Thank you, Gabriel and Pinto. Okay, uh, people, business, customer, company, world, timber, quality, uh, sample, honesty. Uh, okay, some. thank you, Pinto and Carito. I write business relationship, customers relationship, and some values, integrity, quality, and honesty. Okay, that's wonderful. Carito and Wendy. Okay, teacher, uh, company values, core values, principal, fundamental, together, business relationship, customers, some examples, honesty, uh, is nice. work, Innovation, uh, other group of people like a team, company, integrity, leadership, quality, and more. Okay, thank you. Very well done. Wendy and Evelyn, do you have some other words? Uh, okay, um, believe, together, 
business school, business relationship, integrity, passion, quality, honestly, and only that. Okay, perfect. And uh, Evelyn, do you have some others? Yes. Please. Company values, business, relationship, integrity, honesty, leadership, a group of people, quality. Perfect. That sounds really good. All of you uh, wrote a lot of words. And if you notice, the pronunciation of this person was kind of slow and very clear. But the, the audios that sometimes we hear are like kind of fast. También escuchamos otro tipo de audio que son más rápidos. De eso se trata, ok. But the, the accent is like British accent? accent? Kind or... of British, yes. Similar to British. Uh, she works in a British academy. So they teach they teach like British English. Mm -hmm. That's why. Well done, Carito. Okay, captas. Good. In this case, in the listening, cuando vamos a los listening, lo que importa, what it matters most, is that you can identify at least one, two, three, or more than 10 words, phrases, sentences. Si ustedes captan un par de palabras, vamos bien. No se, eh, no se desmotiven si de repente hay audios en los que ustedes no captan o se, se les hace muy difícil. Tenemos que seguir mejorando el listening. Ok, so let's uh, listen the last time so you can compare the pronunciation. Company values, also called corporate values or core values are the set of guiding principles and fundamental beliefs that help a group of people function together as a team and work toward a common business goal. These values are often related to business relationships, customer relationships, and company growth. Some examples are integrity, passion, fun, honesty, leadership, teamwork, innovation, quality, commitment, and some others. Do we find any interesting word in here? Alguna palabra interesante que le llame la atención? Yes, Carito. I don't know why it means giving, reading in the second line. Guiding, guiding principles. Guiding. So, so mm -hmm. guide is. Uh, como guiado. Yes. Mm -hmm. Son como yes, principios right. uh -huh, que te muestran como indicadores, guías, uh -huh, o uh, de esos parámetros que te guía. Uh -huh. Guiding principles. Beliefs. Um, I always like to. Siempre me gusta dar este, este tipo de vocabulario. Believe eh, significa creer. Como una canción de Cher, que creo que todas han escuchado. Believe, muy buena. Canción de los 90. Y tenemos Believes, que son creencias. Believe, creer. Believes, creencias. It's a, the verb and, and the noun. Okay. We have business goal, common, common, often related, relationships, customer, company, growth. Growth es crecimiento. We have passion, fun, honesty, leadership. Commitment is compromiso, okay? Commitment, quality, and the rest of the words, you already know them, okay? So, well, let's continue. Solo nos quedan 45 minutos. That sounds really good, okay? Um, we continue with this. Um, here we have core values of the company. Bien, esa actividad la vamos a hacer después. What's the name of this song? Ok, Carlos, um, bien, vamos a hacer esto. Carlos, ¿podrías compartir pantalla? Okay. Vaya, ¿estás desde estás de, de la computadora o estás desde el celular? El celular. Bien, en la parte de abajo, vas a, eh, eh, tal vez logras ver una flechita verdecita. Esa eh, te sirve para compartir. Ah, compartir. Permítame, permítame. Ajá. Déjame, vamos a ver. Sí. 
Um, come Ok, intenta. Ten cuidado porque en un curso anterior vimos unas conversaciones kind of weird, extraña realmente, mejor ni lo voy a mencionar, pero vimos conversaciones extrañas porque se equivocaron. Uh, they make a mistake, okay. that, that happens. Así que ten cuidado por el contenido que puedas tener por ahí. Ok, Carlos, yo confío en ti. You are a very... In, You have integrity. And you are a very calm person. Además, está casado. Ok, can you? Okay. ¿Puedes? Sí, 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 permítame. Uh, dale, cerra todo. Yes, close everything, please. Me parece sospechoso, Carlos. Se está tardando demasiado, ok. No, no, teacher. Ya, carita, algo esconde este hombre, algo esconde. Sí, ¿verdad, Kenny? Ay, yeah. ay Carlos, ¿qué está cerrando y escondiendo? Mm. No, nada, no guardando. ¿Cuántas pantallas había de tener abiertas? Sí, 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 ok. Modo incógnito. Ok. So, take your time. Ok, eh, mientras tanto, el día de mañana, tomorrow, Pinto is, is going to be your turn. Ok. Y todos viendo a los lados, a ver si pueden encontrar algo. Ok. Um, ok, Carlos. Could you read? There is a time that I remember. There is a time I remember when I did not know no pain. When everything in forever and everything would stay in the same. Now my hair feels late, like December, December. December with some sunlight. Say you name, name. The, name because I can win how to can you, but it now I win one day there. Yeah. Okay, there's a time that I remember when I did it. Is that a romantic song, right? Uh, yes. Alguaste. No, okay. Is it from a band or a singer? De una banda o un cantante? Band or a singer? El, tra el trato no era, cantarla, no era cantarla? No, carito. Okay. Can you, can you sing, Carlos? ¿Vas a cantar? No. No, teacher. Okay, relax. Ajá. Uh -huh. Carlos. A band Carlos. or a singer? <laughs> eh, banda, pero el, el vocalista solo es uno. Oh, yes, okay. From the 90s, 90s, 80s, 80s. Kenia, ya sabes. Electrónica okay. es. Sí, sí, electrónica. electrónica. No, no, no. No, no. Okay, Kenia. Memory. Remember Rain? Memory. Por ahí dijeron. The Maroon 5. ¿Quién cantó? ¿Quién cantó? ¿Quién cantó esa? No, November Rain de Guns N' Roses. Ya lo ah, dije. Sí. Ya lo dijeron, ya lo dijeron. Yes or no, Carlos. En Sambas. Maroon 5. November Rain. November Rain, no. ¿Es it no. November Rain? No. No. Memories Maroon. from Maroon. 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 Sí, son mentirosos. Ah, ya me lo, lo estaba dije. creyendo. Yo, no te creí que me disculpaba. I'm sorry. I'm ah, sorry. Ya ve. No, no creen en, en mi palabra. <laughs> ok, nice. So Maroon 5 is the band, right? And the name? The name is Memories. Yes. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Thank you, Carlos. Te puedes dejar de compartir para que no veamos nada más. Okay, my friend. Ahorita. Okay. So um sí, para los demás estén listos. En serio. Esa conversación me traumó la vez pasada. Okay. Ya no fui el mismo. So, uh, Pinto, are you there? O oh, creo que se fue. Ok, Carlos Pinto, tomorrow is your turn to present uh, like a, a fragment of a song. Bueno, ya va a venir okay, Pinto. Teacher. Ok, a similar, similar, a, similar a, a, a Carlos, ok. Very sí. nice. So, memories from, from what? From, from Maroon 5. 
si se dan cuenta, hoy hemos estado leyendo bastante mission, vision, hemos estado con las conversation, hemos estado con esta parte que le tocó a Carlos, que es son el grupo que estuvo conmigo anteriormente, se recuerdan que yo les di un tip para que mejoraran su fluency, su fluidez, y es leer por lo menos todos los días de uno a dos minutos en inglés. Y algunos de ustedes creo que ya lo dejaron de hacer porque sentí que están como un poquito limitados, ¿verdad? Entonces yo sé que estuvieron en vacaciones, pero yo les recomiendo que lo hagan todos los días. Busquen cualquier artículo de la BBC o, o, de, o de cualquier noticia en inglés, léanlo, grábense y luego se están escuchando, ¿verdad? Eh, porque algunos se van a encontrar siempre con palabras nuevas, como en, los, en la vision, en la mission, son palabras nuevas. Y esas palabras nuevas, ¿cómo, re, cómo, cómo reaccionamos a esas palabras nuevas? Nos quedamos, ¿verdad? A todos nos pasa. Yo encuentro palabras nuevas a menudo. So, that is going to happen every time. Por eso es bueno leer, ¿verdad? Un tip para que ustedes mejoren el fluidez, para que todos mejoremos, ¿ok? But well done. Mañana vamos con otra canción. A ver si no me traen una corta vena. No problem. If you want to present uh, like uh, electronic music, um, dance hall, hip hop, romantic whatever, glam metal Richard, pero puede ser una en español y pasarlo en inglés también ok, yes can be yes, un no cumbión problem. quiere entrar por eso ajá, una de las sonoras la de la de la loba, ok, no problem we continue with this and this question is kind of um, interesting couples should approve intelligent tests before they can have children? I agree or disagree. Si las parejas deberían de aprobar un test de inteligencia, inteligencia no es solo matemática, inteligencia emocional, de todo diferente tipo de inteligencia, antes de tener niños. Do you agree or disagree? En lugar de decir disagree, pueden decir I don't agree. Okay, no problem. So do we have volunteers to start with this uh, question? Let's see, if not, we're going to start. Recuerden que es una respuesta corta. Si quieren extender, if you want to, to extend, it's okay. But first we're going to start with Kenya. Me parece que cuando le voy a pedir voluntario, miren hacia abajo. I don't know why. Creo que están pensando. Yes, Kenya, and then we go with Luis. Kenya, okay, go. It would be a great help if they get it or this type of test. Since mm -hmm. there are couple who have separate, separate and abandoned their children. Okay. And, and children su suffer. Suffer. Psychology. No sé cómo se. Psychology. Uh, psychology. Trauma. Yes, traumas. There are some traumas or some problems that our grandparents transmitted to our parents. Now, then, our parents transmitted to us. And if we continue with that mental difficulties or limitation we can transmit to the next generations. That's why Kenya said that, right? Good. Uh, thank you, Kenya. Uh, very nice answer. What about uh, Luis? And then um, we we'll go with Pinto. Okay, please. Bueno, teacher, and I agree. Okay. Uh, be because both women and men must be aware that mm -hmm. their body is fit to bring a baby into the world. Mm -hmm. Yes, both of them are responsible, right? Not only mothers or, or, or fathers, both. Okay, you agree. Interesting. We go with Pinto and then we go with Oscar. Okay, I'm a great teacher. Okay. Because um, there are some young parents and, and, and then the, the children have needs and 
some sometimes uh, the young parents don't realize the big responsibility is to have a children. Okay. A word for that opinion. Young parents, los padres jóvenes, sometimes they can't afford for the needs of the kids. For no the pueden. Needs. Yes, they can afford. No pueden costear. No pueden costear en las necesidades, right? So that's one interesting point, okay? The age, la edad, okay? And that's it. Yes, very interesting idea. Thank you, Pinto. What about Oscar? And then we go with Steffi, que me está, está escondiendo. Okay. okay. My opinion is, I think that's before uh, thinking of a baby, a couple must have a place to live. How job stabilizes the hour that a baby requires care, full attention, which is in no day or month is the for affecting affect time, live time, light time, light time, light time. Uh, why a couple has to think about the commitment, commitment a uh, baby of the baby. Good, the commitment, el compromiso. A couple should have a place also and to provide stability. Okay, well, interesting point as well. Thank you, Oscar. And we go with Steffi, si estás lista, si no, no te voy a dar tiempo. Sí, teacher. Yes, that's the attitude. I agree. Why it, what, why it should be like this because having a child is a very big responsibility. Okay, yes, it's a big responsibility. And it is important to know if the parents are able. Cuando decimos able, significa capaz. Si son capaces. If they are able to provide at least the basic things, not only material, but also emotional and re related to the, the, the mental health. Thank you. What about if we listen now to, let me see. Claudia, are you ready? And where... Necesitas tiempo? Yes. <laughs> okay, Wendy. Okay, um, I agree. Okay. Because, uh, uh, because if this way it will be possible, possible to determine in the future parents are competent, competent of caring for educating and child. Yeah, that's it. Maybe, uh, I guess nobody know how to be a good parent. Como que nadie sabe muy bien como ser un buen padre, but they are learning. But it is very different if you have like stability to start learning and have nothing, y no tener nada, nada, literalmente nada, not only material, but also with emotional and mental health. Thank you, Wendy, very nice. Este es el vocabulario que más o menos hemos, pues, hasta el momento, tenemos hasta el momento, since significa desde, pero también significa puesto que, puesto que, since, suffer, sufrir, o sufrimiento, psychology, es psicología, psychologist, es, eh, Psicólogo, ok. Pero si decimos psycho significa psicópata, ok. So, psycho, like American psycho, ok. Es una canción de Misfits. Both, ambos. Eh, needs, necesidades, can't afford, eh, no poder costearse, ok, no poder pagar. Age, edad, place, eh, lugar, stability, estabilidad, able, capaz. Okay, we're going to continue later with this uh, interesting topic. We have some other opinions that I, I would like to hear, but in, later, okay. Okay, we have this uh, topic. Bueno, no sé si estaban viendo esto, alguna de esas palabras. 
the next topic that we're going to uh, learn is adjectives, comparative and superlatives. I know that um, the manual have the manual has like different interesting topics. El manual tiene muchos temas interesantes, pero eh, como muchos de ustedes saben, me gusta agregar más, más vocabulario para que ustedes expandan su inglés, ¿ok? Adjectives. In this case, here we have. Tenemos eh, dos tipos de adjetivos escritos, ¿ok? Escritos. Um, let me see. Tenemos los que son de una sílaba y los que son de dos o más sílabas. Ok. What is an adjective? An adjective is a word that describes a person, a place, or a situation. Un adjetivo describe. Ok. Por ejemplo, cuando decimos handsome, pretty, ugly, excellent, intelligent, uh, sad, all of those are adjectives. Todos esos son adjetivos. Entonces, aquí tenemos el primero. Vamos a ver acá. Maybe you can help me read him. Evelyn, can you read the first sentence? The dog, please. And then Mardo, second. Mm -hmm. The dog is, is fast. Faster. Faster, faster than the elephant. Uh -huh, than the elephant. Good. And Mardo and then Luis. The horse is the fastest. Nice. Okay, Luis, and then we go with Claudia. The heart is bigger than the dog. Good, Claudia. Uh, the dog is man. Uh -uh. Uh, the uh, elephant. Uh, the elephant. Uh, excuse me. Uh, the elephant is the heaviest. Heaviest. Okay, good. And we finish with uh, Wilfredo. The dog. Okay, Wilfredo, the dog. Necesitas activar el micrófono, si no vas a hablar con tu conciencia, Wilfredo. Come on. Okay, creo que Wilfredo se me quedó. Gabriel, can you help me? The dog is more. The dog is more energy than the elephant. Excellent pronunciation. Ahora. Solo una cosa, porque estoy escuchando desde la clase pasada que nos confundimos con esto. The es un artículo. Ahora, si decimos the book. the book. Ok, tenemos the book. Ok. The car. Oigan, the book. The car. Pero cuando tenemos una vocal, mardoqueo, ya no decimos the apple. ¿Verdad, mardo? ¿Cómo decimos? Esta palabra, ¿cómo la pronunciamos? D. D. Yes. Bárbaro, Carlos, te adelantaste. D. Apple. D. Elephant. D. Eraser. Cambia. Significa lo mismo. Por eso es que a veces se, se, se dice the y a veces D. Cuando va una consonante, the book, the car, the pencil, the cell phone. Pero cuando va una vocal, D. Se pronuncia the apple, the elephant, the eraser. Ok. Rápidamente. We have adjectives. Tenemos adjetivos en su forma base. Y esos adjetivos son los siguientes. Fast, que significa rápido. Young, joven, como todos ustedes. Nice, bien o, o genial. Late, tarde. Big, hot, muy bien. Para hacerlo comparativo, vamos a agregar ER. ¿Cuál es el comparativo? Por ejemplo, eh, Carlos es más feliz. Va, Carlos es más sonriente que quién? Que Wilfredo, eh? porque Wilfredo eh, pone todo serio. Ok, so Carlos es más sonriente que Wilfredo. Ahora podemos decir: eh, Kenia es más enojada que Gabriel. Un ejemplo. No digo que lo sea. Entonces, cuando estamos comparando, utilizamos ERK, faster, younger, yeah, nicer. Eso es un comparativo. Aquí está, ¿ve? un comparativo. Ahora, para hacerlo superlativo, utilizamos EST a ese adjetivo. Ejemplo. Uh, Kenia es la más enojada del grupo. Obviamente no, pero es un ejemplo. Kenia es la más enojada. 
o podemos decir Stephanie es la más callada. Entonces estamos, es un nivel superlativo de, de un grupo, ¿ok? Teacher, tipo como el singular y el plural. Casi, casi. casi lo, ajá, lo que pasa es que el singular, ajá, se trata de, 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 de nombres. Ajá. ajá, gato, gatos, libro, libros. Pero ajá. en este caso, ajá, tenemos acá el adjetivo, esto es una descripción. Vaya, bueno, sencillo, se lo voy a explicar de esta manera. Um, vamos a ver, Luis, decime una cualidad cualidad, una característica de cualquiera de los compañeros de, 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 de acá. Menciona al compañero y decime un adjetivo o una cualidad de él. Si sí puede eh, ser. Oscar. Oscar es. Él es eh, ¿Cómo decir? Contento, alegre. Ok, Oscar es alegre. Bye. Ahí está, y todo serio está ahorita. Ok, Oscar es alegre. Bien, ahora, si lo queremos comparar, podemos decir, Oscar es más alegre que Mardoqueo. Y los estamos comparando. Y como nos dicen, como dicen la, los papás y las mamás, no comparen, ¿verdad? Pero es una comparación. Oscar es más alegre que Mardoqueo. Comparando. Dijiste uh -huh. primero, Oscar es alegre. Luego, Oscar es más alegre que Mardoqueo. Y superlativamente, Oscar es el más alegre del grupo. Oh, okay. ¿Mm? ok, thank sí. you, Luis. Ok, uh -huh. no sé si me doy a entender. Cuando decimos al inicio un adjetivo, solo lo describimos. En comparative necesitamos dos para comparar. Y el superlativo quiere decir que está como por encima de todos. No es que sea mejor o peor. Simplemente tiene una característica mayor a todos. Okay. O sea, teacher, cuando es superlativo es como grupal, entonces. Exactly. Exactamente. Tiene que ser grupal. Vaya, por ejemplo, ¿quién... ¿Quién creen que, aparte de mí, quién creen que es el más tranquilo de todo este grupo? ¿Quién considera que es? El... Yo. Ok. Carlos dice, ¿quién más dice? Ok. So, imagine, imagine, we say, Carlos es el más tranquilo del grupo. Entonces, es un nivel superlativo, porque nos está ganando a todos. ¿En qué? En tranquilidad. Ahora, díganme, ¿quién creen que es el más celoso o celosa de acá? La caro. Okay. Ah, yes, ver, yes, yes, definitely, carito is, yes, carito, palabra para eso. I don't bueno. know. I don't know, ok, se quedó corta. Carito es la más celosa del grupo, entonces cuando decimos eso es un nivel superlativo, nos está ganando a todo, todo el grupo, ¿verdad? Entonces cuando utilizamos acá el nivel superlativo quiere decir que, por ejemplo, rápido, más rápido, y ese de pastes, digamos que si aquí tenemos el perrito, el caballo y el elefante, el más rápido es el caballo. Es el caballo. Uh -huh. That's it. Pero si comparamos entre el caballo y el perrito siempre gana el caballo, pero estamos comparando. No es un grupo, solo estamos comparando uno versus uno. Ese es el nivel comparativo. El superlativo es como que el mayor. ¿Ok? ¿Questions? ¿Preguntas hasta ahora? Mm, ok. La segunda creo que me van a entender mejor. Aquí tenemos, bien, este es happy, se le agrega R, igual crazy, crazier. Ok. Tenemos este. Famous, famoso. Para el nivel comparativo, como les dije que teníamos dos tipos de adjetivos, los que son de una sílaba y los que son de más sílabas. Aquí tenemos famous, famoso. Aquí tenemos more famous, más famoso. Y aquí the most famous, el más famoso. ¿Ok? So that's it. Entonces la clave es este, ¿ve? more. Aquí le agregamos er. Pero aquí no, le agregamos more, famous. Digamos acá, beautiful, tenemos acá, ¿verdad? Famous, beautiful, ¿ok? Vamos a tener un par de ejemplos, un par de oraciones, a ver si me captan. Les voy a mandar esta imagen a todos para que captemos mejor. Vamos a ver acá. Bien. Entonces, vamos ahorita a ver esos ejemplos. Vamos con los más cortos, miren. Le vamos a agregar ahorita ER. ¿Ve? ER, así como está aquí. 
para hacer los comparativos. O sea, vamos a comparar. Ok. Let's listen to... Carito. Ok, Carito. Puedes con la primera. Ok. Ok. Uh, the green car is smaller than the red car. Small significa pequeño, carito, pero si decimos smaller significa más pequeño, ¿ok? Entonces, comparemos, sí, el verde es más pequeño que el rojo, ¿ok? Perfect. Kenya, can you help me yeah. with the second? Ok, teacher. The red car is B. Como le agregamos ER, decimos. Bigger. Ah. Bigger. No, bigger. Bigger. Ok. Bigger than the green car. Ok. Estamos diciendo que el carro rojo, el carro rojo es más grande que el verde. Sí, ¿verdad? Okay. ¿Se dan cuenta? Estamos comparando, ok. En el primero decimos que el carro verde es más pequeño que el rojo. Y en la segunda que el rojo es más pequeño que el verde. Ok. Ya vamos a continuar con esto. Vamos con la letra E. ¿Ok? ¿Voluntarios para la letra E? Fast. ¿Any volunteers? Pues ahorita estamos con los adjetivos cortos, como digamos los prácticos. Bien, si no. ¿Pinto? Oh. Me, teacher. Ok, pinto. Jersey. Ok, Let sí. The Cheap. green car is cheaper than the red car. Yes. The green car is cheaper. Cheap es barato, pero cheaper más barato. O sea que este carro verde es más barato que el rojo. That's perfect. Mardo, can you help me with some other? Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. Number uh, D. Le letter D. Letter D. The red car is expensive than the green car. Okay, en este caso. Como tenemos expensive, es un, uno que tiene más de dos sílabas. Entonces, le vamos a agregar esta palabra, que es... Most, more. 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 Yes. Yes, Marvin. Perfect. En este caso, como, como eso. Ajá. More expensive. That's it. Y estamos comparando. Uh -huh. Expensive es caro. O sea... Aquí dice que el carro rojo es más caro. Ok. One more. Una más. Este tema lo vamos a continuar mañana. Y lo vamos a seguir, pues, eh, aclarando. Porque sé que es un poquito amplio. Ok. Any other volunteer? Puede ser cualquiera. E-F-G-H-I-J-K-L-M. One more. Ok. Let's select to Oscar. Oscar, can you help me? Okay, this um, yeah. G. G. Yeah. Okay, good. En el caso de good cambia. Cambia. Te sugeriría otra porque good cambia de esta manera. Right? Good ah. y tenemos better, best. Pero eso lo vamos a ver mañana. Pero si tú gustas, puede ser F. Slow o puede ser clean. ¿Cuál prefieres? M. M, ok. The red car. The red car is eh, cleaning than the green one. Ok. El carro rojo es más limpio que el carro verde. Que el verde. Ok. Perfect. We're going to continue with this topic tomorrow because I uh, consider that it's kind of tense. It's un poquito extenso. Okay? Uh, you don't worry. No se preocupen que vamos a continuar después. We're going to work a little. Okay? Antes de irnos, vamos con esto. Couples should approve intelligent tests before they can have children. Agree or don't agree or disagree. And for this question, we're going to have, let me see, Gabriel and then Evelyn. Okay, Gabriel. 
your turn. Okay, teacher. Uh, I'm sorry. I do not understand the question. Okay. Um, agree or disagree? Um, I could not say, but is, it is always good to play the children, and if it is so that they have a better future, future is them correct to me. Okay. If you, if a couple plans the kids, it they are okay, right? Mm -hmm. That's what you say. Porque la pregunta es que si las parejas ajá, deberían de aprobar un test antes, o sea, que se les apruebe tener niños. Okay, because we have a lot of kids with irresponsible parents. Tenemos muchos niños con padres irresponsables, madres irresponsables, and so on. So that's why. But thank you, Gabriel. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Kids should be planned. Deberían de ser planificados, okay? Thank you, and we go now with Evelyn, and after Evelyn, we go with um, Claudia. Okay. Uh, in, my, in my opinion is I agree, uh, because I do have a responsibility, but uh, to guide to guide a good education and better life. Yes, that that that's um uh, that's like the main objective to give good education and good quality, mm -hmm. good quality of life. Perfect, good opinion. And we go now with Claudia and then Carito. Uh, my I agreed on is. Um, la crianza, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. land, and the rising, rising is como crianza. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh, quiero ver um, responsibility and solamente eso. Okay, good. And what about you, Carito? Okay, teacher, I have a short answer. I I would be a good alternative, but I don't think it is an effective measure. I don't think it works in our environment. Okay, you consider that it is it couldn't be an effective, an effective yes. way. Yes. Okay. So in this case, maybe you may say that you don't agree or you may agree. Yes, I agree. I think it's a very interesting. It could be like an option, like a, a pilot program, un programa piloto, and then to see what, what it happens. But it's not going to be 100% effectively, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hopefully. Okay. Interesting question. Okay. Interesting opinion. Nice. And what else, Carlos and Mardoqueo? Okay, teacher. Yes, I agree. Because we are all have to have the race, racing as she is. Some may seem beautiful, thank God. He bit and the two are coupling good. Why it but? Canon and those would have opportunity do not canon of to apparent it. Okay, yes. It is not a matter of appearance, but also of planning, right? Thank you, uh, Carlos. Mardo, are you ready? And then yeah. Wilfredo. I agree to a test to assess whether they are emotionally prepared. Interesting. Interesting, emotionally prepared. Okay, nice. Uh, Wilfredo, what about you? Uh, I decided <laughs> because the natural of the woman 
Being a loss and respect for good in loss. Okay. Uh, so at the end, you agree or don't agree, Wilfredo? Uh, I, uh, no, I don't agree. You don't agree, okay, because it is not natural what you say, right? It is not part of the nature to do this. Okay, uh, thank you for, for your opinion. And now let's do something. Let me see. Okay, um, we have plan, quality, que es calidad, racing. Cuando decimos race, uh, es criar. Ok, criar, pero racing de la crianza, emotionally prepared, que es emocionalmente preparado. Una cuestión este, para algunos, cuando están de acuerdo, podemos decir, I agree. Y cuando no estamos de acuerdo, decimos, I don't agree. Pero no decimos, I am. Ok, mm -mm. es I agree. Así es el verbo. I agree, I don't agree. Ok. Y quizás como sugerencia, eh, preparen su respuesta en la mañana al mediodía. Si tienen tiempo, no les va a tomar más de cinco minutos hacerlo. Diez minutos, tal vez. Y este, agradecer, ¿verdad? Porque pues, están dando sus opiniones. Este ejercicio, este, y le pueden decir a los compañeros que estuvieron conmigo, ¿verdad? El, 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 el curso pasado, es un ejercicio que yo hago como facilitador. Entonces, eso sirve para que ustedes practiquen vocabulario, fluidez eh, y que den sus opiniones. Bien importante. If you give your opinions, it means that your English is working and you are improving. Están mejorando si dan sus opiniones. It doesn't matter if your opinion is right or wrong. Si su opinión está, es correcta o no es correcta, eso no viene al caso. Lo importante, what matters is you speak English. Entonces, si se dan cuenta, yo le doy bastante oportunidad para que ustedes practiquen de su punto de vista. Si alguien dice, I don't agree with your opinion, pues es diferente, ¿verdad? Pero lo que necesitamos acá, o lo que yo necesito, es que mejoremos un poco la fluidez. Yo sugiero que no improvisen. Pero si ustedes pueden improvisar, adelante. El problema de improvisar es que se quedan cortos y como todos los están escuchando y están así, se ponen nerviosos, se me fue la palabra y a veces decimos, mm, ¿y cómo se dice esta palabra? No, vengan preparados y ya van a ver que de aquí en dos semanas, en una semana, cuando termine esta semana, ya todos vamos a ser pues como que más fluidos, ¿verdad? Si escuchan que algunos, ¿verdad? Algunos eh, participantes que no estuvieron conmigo el curso pasado y ahora Escuchan que otros ya venían como más preparados porque veníamos con esta actividad desde hace tiempo. Pero todos vamos a captar, vean eh, qué. Pueden buscar en Google si quieren, pero se trata de que ustedes den su punto de vista con sus palabras. Porque ustedes pueden copiar y pegar. Ya, yeah, you can do it. Pero si ustedes aprenden a dar más su opinión, entonces eso se vuelve como un tanto más interesante. Ok, so that's it. Si se dan cuenta, le estoy dando bastante oportunidad. No solo vemos los ejercicios del, de, del, del manual, sino que vemos otras actividades. Ok, so uh, let me see. Así que sugiero que, bueno, el día de mañana, bueno, Carlos tiene. Carlos Pinto tiene eh, lo de la mission en vision. Mañana le voy a dar dos actividades, cosas pequeñas. Ah, la pregunta de mañana es interesante, les va a gustar. Ok, but um, something that uh, something that I like you is that you feel no shame to express. No sientan pena a participar. Que no les importe equivocarse. Ok, entonces que, que no les dé pena. Sean sin vergüenza. Inténtenlo. Equivóquense. Vuelvanlo a hacer. That's the main point. Así que pendientes con el, con las actividades de, um, de mañana. Let's see. I'm going to check the attendance. Teacher, teacher, excuse me. Yes. Eh, eh, lo trabo lengua. Ah, okay, I'm going to look for, for some others. Para este curso sí tengo un par de trabalenguas y todo eso. ¿Verdad? Les va a ayudar con la fluidez, the fluency. Y espero mañana enviarles algunos links que les van a ayudar. Um, de lo mismo que les decía la mayoría, configuren su Facebook en inglés, su Instagram, 
eh, para que ustedes se adentren completamente eh, a lo del inglés, ok, and that's it, eso ayuda bastante, escuchen mucho música, verdad, eh, los coros, aprendanse los coros de las canciones, eso ayuda como no tienen idea, right, eh, porque es diferente solo escuchar y estar cantando, no les digo que canten fuerte, but if you practice, practiquen, no es lo mismo estar leyendo, que mover los labios y articular. Cuando articula, uno está leyendo y uno dice, ah, eso está fácil. Al momento de hablarlo es la cosa. Allí tenemos limitantes. Por eso les digo que practiquen, articulen, pronuncien. Si están leyendo solo con la mente, no están desarrollando la fluency. Están desarrollando reading, que es la habilidad de leer. Pero no es una actividad, digamos, que les va a generar fluidez. Así que practiquen, ánimo. Y pues, I'm going to check the attendance list. Tenemos preguntas con el tema de metodología, de actividades que hacemos. Solo es sencillo. Let's speak in activities, que son una o dos preguntas para cada clase. Y lo demás, pues, eh, participation. Ok. Um, no questions. Ok, perfect. I'm going to check the attendance list. Say hi, hello, if you listen to your name. Ok. Alfredo Saldaña. No, right. Ok, Carlos Ramírez, no. Carlos Abrego. Hello. Hello. Um, Carlos Pinto. I'm here, teacher. You're there. Carito Zúñiga. I'm here. You're there. Edwin. Teacher. Present, teacher. Good night. Ok, Edwin. Perfect. Listo para darme tu opinión, Edwin. Exactamente. Conectaste. Ok, Edwin. Couples should approve intelligent tests before they can have children. Agree or don't agree? Creo que este Edwin se quería salvar de esta actividad, but give me your opinion. Ok, te voy a dar un par de, par de, 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 de segundos para que te prepares. Puxo. Ok, uh, we continue. Elisa, no. Steffi? No, Steffi. Ok. Evelyn. Present. Thank you. Gabriel. Present teacher. Good. Yvette. Present. Ok, nice. And Kenya. Present. Good. Luis. Present teacher. Nice. Mardo. I'm here teacher. You are there. Oscar. I'm here. Okay, good. Wilfredo. Present teacher. Claudia, thank you. Wendy. I am here, teacher Claudia. Nice. Perfect. Present. Thank Present you. Present teacher. Nice. Okay, Edwin, tenemos tres minutos, pero solo nos vamos a tardar menos de dos, right? Edwin, action. Activa el audio, please. Activate the audio. Okay, sorry. Uh, I I think so because fears fears of all they need to have conscious that no no age and responsibility and about about uh, to know how to educate and what to teach their children and if they have the cap the capacity. To raise them. Okay, that's it. They need to have the capacity to raise them. Okay, definitely it is. Thank you, Edwin. Very nice. Okay, my friends. Okay. So, see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Okay. So, okay, see, you see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye.
Okay, we are waiting for the, the participant who was going to be here. We hoped uh, he can connect, but the topic is how to use ING forms after prepositions. Okay. Um, here we have a short conversation between Mario and Teresa. Mario says, did you receive a newsletter about the core values of the company? I did. It's a great idea to remember why we are different from other companies. What do you mean? I mean, we know innovation, efficiency, and respect should be part of our customer service. I see your point. We know about the values of the company, but maybe we don't apply them. Exactly. We should leave the values that make us different from other companies. And the objective of this class is I will. I will be able to explain the impact of core values in the company culture and its employees. We have the activity. What are three personal values you transfer to your interactions with co-workers? Do you do the company's uh, values impact employees? How? Then here, here we have pair work. Discuss the answers to the questions below. Number one, what strategy does Teresa and Mario's company use to promote its core values? Two, are Mario and Teresa positively impacted by the company's values? How? So in this case, here we have the first question. What strategy does Teresa and Mario's company use to promote its core values? Um, in the first line, here we have, did you receive the newsletter about the core values of the company? So the strategy is to send newsletters to all the employees so they can be aware of the core values of the company for them to take them into practice. Then here we have, are Mario and Teresa positively impacted by the company's 
but the company's values. How? Well, um, they say, especially Teresa, that it is a great idea to remember the core values of the employees. And she says, we know innovation, efficiency, and respect. But Mario says that he's aware of this. But, but um, maybe we don't apply them. So uh, they have to put them into practice. And he says, well, yeah, here we have add two of your company's values to the box. Then rank the top five values that should be part of any company's culture. Compare your results with a partner. And here we have uh, the first one. Efficiency, innovation, respect, punctuality, service to others, integrity, loyalty, responsibility. 